Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to check the poly count in your scene and for individual objects. So let's get straight to it. So I have my scene here, as you can see. To check the poly count, go to your drop down towards the top. It's going to have these two circles next to each other. And then just hit the drop down and hit statistics. That will open this menu up on the left side over here. And you can see faces, triangles, edges, vertices, and objects. As you can see, the Poly count is going to be under triangles. That is what you want to look at because when you're importing into a game engine, it's going to convert everything to triangles usually. Um, if not, you can look at faces, but usually triangles is the way to look. So to check it for an individual object, let's go down to my keyboard. This is probably the most high poly. If I hit go into edit mode and hit tab, it will show you how many faces you have selected and triangles like that, uh, like that. And if I select more, it ups it like this. If I press A, as you can see, we have everything selected right here and total, total triangles are 916, whereas if we exit edit mode, total triangles are 7091. So to see the poly count, just enter edit mode and exit, and it, you can check that for all your objects. And that's how you check poly count in Blender. Hopefully that helped you and you can use it to work your renders. And if you need help uh, dissolving some extra geometry on some of your objects, I have a tutorial on that. It's like one minute long, check it out. The link will be in the description and probably on the screen somewhere. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.